Hello, YouTube. How am I doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Friday Night. Days Gone, Spawnicus Rex Expert Gameplay. With me this evening as a chat assistant is my lovely assistant, Claire Weaver, a.k.a. Days Gone Podcast, a.k.a. 8-Bit Terror. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's going on? So you were having some fun this morning. Oh my god, I was just about to say, aka the Callisto <laughs> Protocol fanatic. I'm like, I love Callisto that game. Protocol's biggest new fan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. Um, yeah. Are our mics on? Can everyone hear us okay? Yeah, y'all should be able to hear us both. Please right? let us know. I get paranoid when <laughs> Rex doesn't charge of buttons. <laughs> Can everybody hear us? It's just because I let you be in charge of labeling the buttons, and now they don't make any sense. I know. I don't think anyone can. Oh, yay, Jeremy. Yeah, in Canada. Outstanding. Says, oh, audio's great, and Joe confirms, yes. Outstanding. Well, since y'all can actually hear us, let's say hi. Do you want to say hello? No, you, you do the honors. No, okay. Oh, check it out. Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. First one in the chat. Hello, sir. And then we have Canada with a K. Hello, Canada. Joe Schmo 0216, Borislav 24 7. What is going on, folks? And check it out. Obscured by Ink has made it in as well. And Dandy Denny 07. Hello, folks. <laughs> Dandy Denny says, Can he find the button? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good evening, everyone. Yeah, how y'all uh, doing? Obi says, Doing some light, uh, sorry, doing some video editing on the last episode of God of War. And I get to watch Rex uh, murk some freakers. What a great <laughs> Friday night. What does murk mean? Yeah, uh, it's, I think it just means to like kick their ass or something. Oh, not like short for like murkin? To, to, to go mercenary or something. Oh, I don't, I really okay. don't know. So not murkin. Something the cool kids are saying these days. I'm going to say the word you, murkin again, just so <laughs> you actually ask what's a murkin. Oh yeah, what's a murkin? <laughs> Uh, does anyone in the chat know what American I, I is? I thought you were just being a smartass and saying American, you know, American. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, a Merkin is a certain type of, um... Merka. Hair prosthetic used in <laughs> theater and movies. You've told this story before. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a very specific hair prosthetic. It's a pussy wig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, some kids these days, man. The things these kids get up to these days. <laughs> uh, Let's play some Days Gone, man. Let's play some Callisto Protocol. I'm, oh, oh yeah, shit. That I too. mean, Days Gone. <laughs> All right, let's just make sure that we do have the correct save. This should be it. Uh, Yeah, Uh, on the 30th at 9.20 p.m. That's where we shut it down. Let's do this. So what y'all up to tonight, folks? What are we doing today? What is what is this Friday? Yeah, Friday evening. How are we? Yes, ma'am. Nothing. Just checking you're still awake over there. Why you are you looking quiet? at me like that? For like a half a second, I asked a question. I was waiting for answers. Were you waiting for me to answer? You will answer me when I speak to you. Will I? <laughs> no, I meant everybody in the chat. <laughs> All right, so we just, uh, wait, yeah, what did we do? Okay, yeah, we just got back from Ripper Territory. Uh, we did the mission last night where Schizo sold us out to the Rippers, that rat bastard. Uh, the next thing I like to do, because you lose so much of your gear, uh, I like to make a loop around to the uh, hidden loot locations. Can we? We can't get into Iron Butte yet. No, that's right. We have to do the... Uh, well, maybe we can. Can I get an Iron Butte? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've done this, like, yeah. If you've gone back. Well, I haven't done them. the, um, I haven't done the, Boozer and I have not gone back together. Isn't that when you gain oh, full access yes, to the area? you are correct. Yep, yeah, sorry, like my you, bad. I, I don't think we can get in there yet. Uh, even though I have unlocked this Nero checkpoint, I can't fast travel there yet until I actually... Uh, yeah, because you can't until you yeah, okay. do the rats. So we can't do that yet, but we do have this camp job from Tucker. Uh, let's see, let's, let's say see. hello to uh, some yeah. people who've joined. We have hey. Old Lady Deek Geek Old Lady Deek Geek, hey! And Dogbone. Hello! And what else do we have? Uh, Dandy in. Denny is wrapping Christmas presents. 
and about to eat some dinner. Nice. Cool. Uh, Canada is saying, still catching up on previous streams. Sorry if you've discussed this before. Rex, will you play Callisto Protocol as well? Uh, no. No, it's really not my type of game. <gasps> but it has some humor in it. <laughs> yeah, it's just not my type of gameplay. But it has some humor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched Claire stream this morning. I'm going to tell you right now, that game looks fucking incredible. Uh, I mean, like, it... The, just for a while, okay, so I'll go on about Callisto Protocol for a second here. Uh, for a while this morning, I was doing yard work and outside working out and stuff, and so I was out in the sun. I couldn't see the screen of the phone. And it's on uh, your phone, so and, it's tiny yeah, it's on my anyway, phone. So. Yeah, I had the uh, the screen up. I'm sorry, I had the stream up on my phone, uh, and it's a very dark kind of game, so yes, I, I is. couldn't see anything going on in the game at first, but the audio was <laughs> on mm -hmm. fucking point uh and like just the music and just the sound effects and the sound of the monsters and the sound of the combat and everything the audio was on fucking point and then uh later i i was like okay this is actually pretty fucking good so i came inside uh and i cast it to the big tv in the living room and was like this is how we're watching this uh, and I sat in there watching it on the big screen for the rest of the stream. Uh, and it looks fucking killer, man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing looking game. It's just not my type of game. Uh, I do prefer, uh, well, it's just not my kind of game. Basics of Pain is with us. Hey, BOP. What's up, man? And Joe has uh, Urban Dictionary for Muck. Uh, <laughs> one, to kill someone. Two, to beat someone in a game. Three, to insult someone. Four, to injure someone. Hmm. Okay. Now I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Hmm. Is it possible for anyone to actually see you on this mission? I've uh, never experienced such. I've run past people and yeah, no one's like, ever said anything. Yeah, walk right past folks and they're like, hey, Deke. Yeah, I don't remember ever encountering anybody on the way back to your cabin. There's nothing on the map that's like, uh-oh, watch out for this, you know, yeah. enemy or stay in this zone or anything. Yeah. Like, I don't know that it's actually possible to get spotted. On well, this give mission. it a try. <laughs> Go run up to someone. Go run down to the infirmary. <laughs> Go say hi to Addie and Ricky. <laughs> and then when Ricky comes in later. Oh, oh. well, okay, so there is that. <clears throat> We do know we have an out of bounds. What about down by the kitchen? I'm just showing off because I know where things are. Out oh. of bounds. Okay. That answers that question. All right, so we got that put away. Let's go. Where's the taunt schizo mission? Where's That's the... after. No, it's available right now. It's right there. I just don't know where to actually oh. go. Oh, I missed the end of your stream like, um, <clears throat> a couple days. That's why I'm like, wait, where are you? What are you doing? Yeah, we just got I... back from uh, being betrayed by Schizo. Right, right. I saw the beginning of that, but I didn't see the ending of it. I had to, I had to step off the stream for a minute, uh, just dealing with some stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I missed it. But, yes, it's there. This one? Uh, yes. <gasps> Round the back. Ha. Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Just a reminder, fuck top chat. Make sure you switch <laughs> to live Talk chat to me, and Listen, hit that like you button. You know why I did it. First of all, Please do I uh, remember to hit that like button, folks. And yeah, I do know why you did it. No, I forget all the time oh, myself. Hey, come on, damn it. It wasn't personal. You got to know that. There was no David is way. with us. Hello to David. Hey, David, what's going on, man? Welcome Tell in. Him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Pull up a chair, pour yourself oh, a drink. A talk to Iron Mike. Must play some days gone. As soon as they find Speaking of, guilty, pour a drink. Hey, would you mate. like to open that bottle Come of whiskey midnight, I got us? Me and Boozer, we're gonna tie I'm going to abstain. Gonna put you yeah. in the I've, of been, the I've been sick mm, all week. Yeah. I haven't okay. been feeling 100%. Yeah, so. yeah, that's cool. You uh, but I can get you a glass if you want. Maybe later. Okay. Torn apart. Eaten alive. Uh, Dogbone is asking, is Ben's studio in Bend, Oregon? Cows. And yes, it is. Keep this yeah, they safe. are. This is our life, Dake. You know what? I think we're going to do you that. You know, we've still got pictures from that trip that we need to share. We've got a couple that we haven't shared, I believe. 
I thought we weren't going to share those ones. <laughs> Not those ones. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we took a trip to Oregon recently. You may already know this. Uh, we did take a trip up to Oregon recently. We did Jake! visit Bend. Uh, <clears throat> Damn it, listen to me, The Jake! folks at Bend Studio sorry, were brother. kind enough to invite us up, and we actually Make got to tour the studio to, mm-hmm. a little bit. What they and were able to show to us, at least, like the lobby and the break room and Jake! the balcony. Listen yeah. to me. But we got to see the life-size Deacon statue. We got to see the drifter bike. I got to sit she on the drifter bike. She got to sit on bike. the drifter bike. <laughs> I'm still, like, in awe. <laughs> we got to uh, hug a rager bear. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we, yeah, and we got to sort of see bits of the studio. We got to see yeah. some cool big artwork on the walls, like concept art and stuff they have up on the wall. Yeah, Kevin was great, man. He walked us around. Uh, yeah. You know, he met us, uh, uh, met us at the door when we came up and, uh, you know, showed us around it's fucking great shit we went and got dinner later yeah <laughs> i gotta get the deck cord schizo's cabin let's see what you... <laughs> how do i ever trust this asshole <laughs> that guy's a fucking slob too hello Guess Schizo won't be needing this. <laughs> Neither will you, actually. <laughs> but anyway. Gotta go see Addy. I'm sure most of y'all already know the disgusting shit y'all can find in there. Let it get infected. Mm-hmm. We know what that means. Uh, certain Polaroids. Mm-hmm. Scuzzy bastard. I should have called him Scuzzo instead. <laughs> Pretty sky. Not out the window on the TV. What? <laughs> I'm just picking at you. <laughs> Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. You just did. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof disease. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Addie, shh. Addie. so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. Canada says, Schizo strikes me as the kind of guy who doesn't own pillowcases. His pillow is dark yellow and has lost half its stuffing. <laughs> he sleeps on the lounge so he doesn't have to make a bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. probably right. So he's not a doctor. Huh. Uh, David okay. says, so, yeah, no um, doctor, still considering trying life. that no bike playthrough challenge. Oh, yeah. You gotta count for something. Let us know how that goes. I'm ah, curious. Shit. I don't know if they're bugging out or if I just can't use the shop right now. I just want to refill my ammo. That happens to me on a mission when Blair disappears. It's like, nah, you're on the mission. You can't refill. Mm. Okay. Well, I've got saddlebags. We'll be all right. But still. And you can refill at the Nero checkpoint when you go through, mm-hmm. can't you? I yes, you don't can, I remember think. if we... Yeah, yeah, I bet we can. You're right. Yeah, because that's in the past. I used to open that Nero checkpoint with Boozer on this mission that's coming up. Uh, Where now, you know, I do it just when you're coming out of Iron Butte for the first time. I think I've always done it with Boozer, apart from Mm -hmm. the last couple playthroughs. Yeah. Yeah, once DMarlo310 told me about doing it that way, I was like, oh, fuck, that's the obli- obviously the smart way to do it. Just do it right then while you're there. He's going to turn the music down. <laughs> I mean, you, you go through that point either way, so I guess it doesn't really matter. You can do it with Boozer. It was a convenient way to refill my ammo before returning to Lost Lake to run off the rippers. Yeah. yeah that was nice. Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Why Iron Mike? Is it some fucking treaty? That's not you know, going to hold. God's that hasn't hold. One thing. Held. Hold. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. yeah, yeah. Ain't gonna stop. And you know it. And you know Are you it. Sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's Fuck personal. Fuck yeah, it's personal. What kind of dumb fucking question is that? Okay. 
fuck out of here with that stupid shit. Obviously, it's personal. Why do you think we're doing this? Uh, I think she's hoping that you're doing it because of Lost Lake. Oh. Which I guess is still personal. Yeah, I mean, exactly, yeah. But he means it's personal to me Loser. individually and fuck gate. everyone else. Oh. I don't give a fuck about anyone else, which is kind of like Ricky's annoyed and frustrated because it's like, okay, I thought we were a team and now you're just being a lone wolf. Mm. Let's see. I think I actually am going to run with this weapon card. Dandy Denny says, I think a no bike playthrough sounds like fun. An old lady, Deep Geek, says, last time I was sneaking into the camp and Mike and Schizo passed by. I threw rocks at Schizo until it, it hit him. It pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That goddamn Schizo. So what are we going to do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Part of a ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them Interesting all. Interesting route you're Rats. taking. I'm just driving. Okay, but letting them talk the and driving. Yeah. It's yeah, a funny way of saying you lost. No, I'm just driving. I mean, it's got a little yellow line here. I know where to go. I'm just driving. Just driving. <laughs> and if Jesse survives, you won't see us come. Hey, Tom Moose is with us. Tom. Hey, Tom. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. And Psylocke DMB. Psylocke. Zylok says, I don't know if I could do a no bike playthrough. Seen, yeah? uh, I think you have to couple only a couple of bike chase missions to progress on. the story. Yeah, I think the those would be the ones where you'd uh, like have to use the bike for those missions, but apart from that, you don't use the bike. I think that's the uh, that's the challenge. And Tom says. Um, I did a no-bike playthrough, and it took a long time, but it was worth it. <clears throat> Who's that saying they've already done a no-bike playthrough? Oh, excuse me, Tom Moose. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, okay. Wake is with us. Hello, Wake. Hello. Welcome in. Wake, are you new to the channel? I don't recall having seen you in the chat before. Nice Wake was here the other day. Oh yeah? yeah. Right on. Show him delay. Wake says, I'm kind of new. Don't let awesome. Either way, we're glad to have you here. I see your bitch ass. Fucking asshole. More All right, let's push up. Damn it, I got him! Zylok says, better practice those headshot threats. I know, right? Yeah. We're coming up on the bit where we're going to need your headshot game. Headshot game needs to be on point for this next bit, doesn't it? I am the oh, he says, Barslap spilled the beans that you're going to do the survive challenge. I'm guessing involves a lot of headshots. Are you okay? <laughs> I've been better. Yeah, that is, uh, we haven't made the announcement officially, like uh, announcing it on our socials right. and stuff. But well, yes, Borislav247 and I are, uh, we got a date ready for our next collaborative live stream. Where oh, we you got a date. Oh, I know. It's adorable, isn't it? 
Uh, we'll be finishing up uh, the final challenge that we need to get gold in all challenges. He's been coaching me through getting gold. And uh, yeah, we got one left. We'll be doing that Monday evening, uh, this coming up Monday. And that is going to be 7 to 9 p.m. on my channel this Monday evening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Why weren't you looting all those bodies when you were running back? I don't need it. I mean, I might need it. I'm I'm going to grab the bike and then run through there and check to see what I need. I'm just getting to the bike first and getting it in position. Wouldn't it have made sense to check them as you were running back to the bike? Then you don't need to get off the bike. Meh. Check the bodies. I'd prefer to secure the bike first thing and get it in position. Like, I want the bike there more than I want the loot that's laying around in here. But the bike isn't going anywhere. There's so many bodies to loot. It's, yeah. it's giving me anxiety. I'm like, please. See, that's so funny. Loot I, them all. I'm not at all compulsive about that because I know I don't Breaker. need most of that shit anyway. We got to head south from here. Following you. <laughs> Why do we want to do this? Smoke bomb. Don't have uh, yeah. executioner yet. Oh. God damn. Oh, of course. Look here, motherfucker. Just like Boozer's handler. <laughs> <laughs> that was intended for this big, doofy bastard right here. There. Blow him up, blow him up. Yeah, I'm trying to get him in there. Get there by it. There we go. Old Lady Deep Geek is on my side. She says, I totally get it, Claire, with the looting. <laughs> no. <laughs> David says, fire, hot. Don't set Boozer on fire. Yeah. Boozer is yeah. Yeah. Fuck off. I would take care of this. There. See, this is why I don't have companions in games. <laughs> I, I hate it. I hate having an People NPC in getting yeah. in the way, trying to help. And it's like, you're not. You're not helping. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like critical. If this person dies, the mission fails. Exactly. Seriously, dude, fuck off. Like, Get yourself to cover and let me handle this. Yeah, like take a back seat. <laughs> Please. All right, ladies, I'll loot the corpses for you now. I mean, you should have done it earlier, but Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Always nagging with these fucking chores. See, look, you got some cool shit. I did actually get some good stuff that we needed, yeah. Thanks for reminding me to loot the corpses. <laughs> yeah. I may have forgotten. Don't forget to heal. If you get a bandage. Yeah, you know, there's a sterilizer. Let's go on and do that. That's excuse enough. <laughs> Zylox says, I'm surprised Claire is having a panic attack over not looting bodies. She's been known to harvest pills from an overblowing toilet. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> If anybody's it wondering, did not happen. Yeah, if anybody's wondering, that is a reference to this morning's live stream. Oh, I did not. <laughs> I did not scoop around in a disgusting, overflowing toilet for pills. I did not. I thought she was gonna have to, though. Yeah, funny. there was there was a moment where I looked out in the Callisto Protocol and I looked down at this toilet that's all like clogged up and gross, and there's like a bunch of sh oh. stuff in there. I was gonna say shit, but it's like there is shit. Ah, uh, but there's stuff, and I was like, what? What is that? And it was pills that looked like sort of, you know, what? We're going to have to reload this or something. <gasps> Boozer has fucked off nowhere near the bike. And I can't get on the bike. Without him. I, I can't make the bike move. It won't go anywhere go without him. him. What's he doing? Dude, seriously? What the fuck are you doing? Can you get Let's him with go. a boot knife or something? Just give him a shove? Uh, if you sit on the bike, he will come. And he'll do what now? So he'll, he will come to the bike and sit down. Well, but it may just that. take him a minute. So this is why you should have looted the bodies first. Like you just That's why I should have just driven through here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what happens. I see his little blue marker on the map there. See if he starts coming this way. Yep, there he goes. Oh, he is, isn't he? That's adorable. 
dumb <laughs> lost little puppy. <laughs> Looking for Jack. I've never seen him do that before. I've seen him wander off like a few paces, but never like that. Hey, headhunters with us. Hunter, what's up, man? Welcome in, bro. Uh, Dogbone is leaving. Uh, I wish I didn't have to miss the next bit, but I'm leaving to go culling. I'm going to spend the evening yelling at granite. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Tom says Boozer saw a puppy. All right, let's go. I've tried to kill the Iron Butte Horde while you're here, too, but it tells you that you're uh, going outside the mission area. Yeah. And Dandy Denny says, I had Boozer refuse to get on the bike once. Oh, wow. <clears throat> All right. Here we are. <sighs> they ain't going to make this easy. Nope. They're not going to make it very hard, either. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask them if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a Let firefight, me do but I can something. plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Won't let you do stuff, okay. All right, you ready? I'm heading in. Yeah, stay low, move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind, go, go. Set the first charge. You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? In position. All right, I'm setting the first charge. So, what I'm doing now, I'm really just trying to spot them as soon as they come in, but having that center dot on the uh yeah right there having that center dot makes it a lot easier for me to find them and scope in on them faster oh man fuck that one up didn't i there we go And you do have blips on your mini map down there. You can see Boozer's little icon, the little blue arrow there. And you'll have little red arrows when the uh, rippers start coming in. We'll give you a general direction. There we go. There they are. Coming. I got a Boozer. I hate this one because he gets stuck behind those power things right there. He's not stuck. It's just in a great shot where you. Yeah, there we go. He's just in a great spot where it's very difficult to get a good, clean headshot on him. That was yeah. me. I just shot too high. I find you have to move sometimes to get a better position, like move over a little bit. Mm. Nice helps. work. I keep going. How many of these can, uh, shit I can't make anymore? All right. This will have to get me through here. Dig. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Got more. Oh, there they are. They're down here. One here. Cut your rippers. Get them off. 
Oh, kind of thought that would be a headshot. Yes, I got him. There we go. Where do I set the next charge? Ricky called it the penstock, the big pipe at the base of the dam. Okay. Uh, there now. Oh, Tom Moose is leaving. His iPad is gonna die. No shit. All right, Tom. Well, we're glad you were here, man. Be safe out there. Old lady says, how come Boos' health meter isn't showing? I believe that's at the top. It, it, because he hadn't taken any damage oh. until just a few seconds okay. ago. Yeah, it only pops when he takes damage. And then she said, oh, sure, now it pops in there. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I say something. Yeah. No, don't, motherfucker. See, on that one, I'm willing to take body shots, even though I know they're not instant kills. Because I know that it will at least stagger the sniper and prevent him from firing on me. Where's the next one at? What am I missing? Down lower? Okay, yeah. I was looking too high. And this last one. Here. Get this off looks me. so easy. What do you say? I do my job. I was panic during this. I think that's the key right there is don't panic. Fort charge. We've only got a few enemies left. That's the last of them. Come out of here. Run, Boozer! Yeah, I think that's it. Done deal. Nothing to it. Come on! Come hey, on. Ethan Glide is with us. Ethan Glide! And James Park. Hey, James. What's going on? Welcome in, guys. How are y'all? Glad to see you on here with us tonight. We just drown in some rats. Holy Popping shit. headshots and drowning oh, rats, okay? man. Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh wait. So. Unless, wait a minute. Was this already? Yeah. It was. Hard <laughs> <laughs> <Smart> ass. <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. And I love how here, like, the reality of what they have done starts to set in a little bit. And they're like, oh, okay, maybe this was a little over the top. Yeah. Uh, Canada is asking, after this mission, is there a way to get to the other side of the dam? Survival Vision tells me there's crafting materials, but I couldn't get to them because of the water and debris. Uh, interesting. Uh, I can answer this. All right, go for it. Uh, there's not a way to get to the other side of the dam, but you can. Just near here is the um, the RV park. Uh, oh yeah, the ambush, ambush camp, camp. Yeah, which is yeah, like some, Redwood RV somewhere park around something. here, uh, and you can kind of get down into like the sort of muddy areas near where the dam blew up. Mm. So you can sort of get like behind the dam where the lake. Brother, you to uh, be. you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah. yeah, some of the speedrunner yeah, guys or exploit of guys, some of those fellows yeah, might be able to, that. you know, they might what know the a way to get in there. But yeah, there's, is a, the there's a way to glitch it. Uh, yeah. She said, yes, the other oh. side of the river where the river's yeah. riding during this mission. Uh, there is a way to glitch it to swim yet. in this game, hmm. but I've never been able to yeah. do it, and it's yeah. it's very finickety. Yeah, I don't I don't really do cheats and exploits and stuff, so I don't I don't really know if there's a way to cheat your way over there or glitch your way over there. I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Wait a minute, I'm curious about yes, something. Dandy Denny says, the audio here is so funny if you keep missing the shots. Boozer gets very salty. Yeah, he does, yeah. What are you doing? Well, the Iron Butte Horde isn't here for this bit. Hmm. But I have the US 556. That's not giving me a weapon wheel to let me select weapons, but I've fired the US 556 a few times. No. You picked up ammo in the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it looks like I would actually be able to pick up ammo for it right there, because there is a version of the 556 that sits right there on the bed of that truck. I was hoping you could take the horde to this next fight. That'd be <laughs> funny. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that would actually be fucking awesome.
What's your plan? I already know it's a bad idea. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. Fuck yeah, it's personal. I'm gonna show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Now, no sympathy Jesus. for Jesse at all. This must but be what imagine it like how he must Noah's be feeling flood. right now. Came with the, washed away all the two wicked. guys yeah, who God had represent everything one. he lost. Yeah. Mm. Wearing their cuts with the 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 um oh, More the emblem on the back, symbolizing uh, yeah. the tattoo that got burned, burned off, off his of back, him, the yeah. immense pain and torture that he went through, and they're yeah. rolling in to fuck up his new life, his new identity, <laughs> kill his people, wow. destroy yeah, yeah. his his cults that he you know thinks he's is not a cult. He's assuming it's a you know awesome new way. Oh, I love those guys that set himself on fire. It's like, okay, dude. All you gotta do is to stay away from him and he'll die. Oh, okay. damn it. I set that mine there for a reason, young man. Headhunter says one of my favorite lines right there, and another one. Which ones are those? So many good lines in this game. Loser just keeps throwing smoke bombs. <laughs> That's what I get for not following my own advice. Shit, now I can't see him. Hey, Boozer, actually, you could calm down with those smoke bombs, <laughs> bud. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a breaker. breaker. will deal with them. All right, might as well get in there. Hey, here, oh, actually, I'm going to leave this bomb here and see if I can lead the... Uh... Damn, that one ripper had two pipe bombs on him. Nice. Uh, I'm going to leave that... Uh bomb over there and see if I can lure the ripper, lure the breaker into it. I really wish I had, oh wait, I may be able to get Executioner. Oh fuck yeah, check it out. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have it already. I, I don't prioritize it because there aren't that many breakers or any reachers in this part of the game or any ragers either, so I don't really prioritize it. Generally, there's, I mean, there's only like two breakers that you have no choice but to fight them. The first one and this one. Okay, here we go. There we go. Another belly. That was excellent timing, though. <laughs> it was nice unlocking that right then. Where's the spot where you can jump up right there? There we go. Med kit inventory full. I beg to differ. There we go. That's better. Don't forget your mine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, since we didn't need it. <laughs> and a little more ammo. Yoink. Okay, let me go grab that mine. <laughs> I will forget it. <laughs> All right. There I'll we go. This. Yes, my own. That was a bottle there we can pick up. I got a use for you. Car 
Bullshit, I'm leaving the mission zone. Oh, that's a much better position to be in than behind that pillar. I always take a hit from this bit. Yeah, I guess I'll take this. <laughs> ah, I might have been able to make that shot. BOP says, man, I don't feel sorry for Jesse either. He knew the rules of the MC when he joined up. Yep. He knew the price of breaking the rules. Ah, he made his bed and has no reason to be sour oh, yeah. with Deke or Boo's man. Yeah. He but he's obviously not the smartest guy. Or the Or the sanest. Yeah. So I can see why he of, would hold a grudge. It what... may not make sense, but I can see why he would. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where... You just have to realize some people are not rational people. They don't make rational decisions. Like you try to analyze what they're thinking and guess what their next move is going to be. And you have to remember you're not dealing with a rational person who makes rational decisions. Right. Joe says that's why I believe he's a goddamn narcissist. I mean, yeah, hmm. that, that tracks. Yeah. Or just <sighs> lacking in empathy. In any ability to, to see no how he may have there. done wrong or how other people might perceive him. I love Boozer in this one. He's just like, oh, fucking pissed off. He can't get up there. Here. No. I'll boost you up. <laughs> Daddy Denny says PCP is bad, kids. <laughs> Drugs bad, okay? Drugs bad. Oh no, Ether Glide's packing away the PS5 for a month or two, moving house, so I'm packing. Uh, but also the second PS5 controller has packed up. There's two in 11 months. You fucking go Losing a little love for the setup. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, I, uh, I had to buy a new controller within the first month. No, I'm sorry. Let me say it correctly. Within the first six months, I had to buy a new PlayStation 5 controller. Now, fortunately, that one has lasted me quite a while, but I haven't been using it as much. We've been using the ones in here for most of our streaming and gaming. So, confession time. I actually fucking hate this bit. I fucking hate this bit. I hate that they steal my gear a second time. I hate that it's basically just a fucking quick time event. Taken Saint John. Yeah, but how else is Jesse supposed to stand a chance? Jesse. Yeah, and that's fair. Never do, never go for four. Oh, do you remember I never go for melee. The day, honestly, that's the problem. You and Boozer held me down. But Jack burn the flesh from my back. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't even see. Are we still in the fight? No, ah, you got it. Okay. You got it. You got to oh, yeah, die yeah. a couple times to warm up. Well, you, you got to let him have one. Yeah. Hey, James, James Guan is with us. James. James says this stream feels like a classic feedback loop from the all the old faces. The Hello, everybody. You and yeah. Boozer held me down. Watch oh, Canada is leaving. Uh, off to get some lunch and recover from work. Looking forward to switching the rest of the replay. Have a good stream. Stay, stay safe, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Jack thought I was crazy. I knew. You're gonna die. Yep. I fucking hate this bit. I really do. This is my second least favorite part of the game. Taking Saint Charles. Brought low by the lowly Jesse Wilson. The trick is to kill him before you run out of stamina, which I know is like easy said than done. Back in the day, just timing you and, and Boozer held me down. Watch oh. it burn the flesh from my back. It's surprisingly easy to get it wrong. Those, those memories kept me from being free. Jack, Jack thought I was crazy. I knew. I knew what you were. Mongols. 
Can you see his health bar? I can't make out his health bar at all. Yeah, I can just can't tell. Oh, it's low. It is low. You've almost, you got him. Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Weird. On the stream, I could see it, but on the TV, yeah, I on couldn't. our television, I can't make out any of yeah, his health bar. I could totally see it. Oh, huh, okay, cool. I didn't yeah, even I realize we were about Yeah, I looked up and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's why I was like, really? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I uh, I like this bit story-wise. I just don't care for the gameplay of it. I right. just don't have a lot of use for Melee, so I don't like being forced to rely on it. Yeah, me too. Now, it, the reason I think that's so jarring to me is because this... One of the main things that I love about this game is the freedom of choice. It gives you so many different options for handling every encounter, but then it puts you in this one encounter where you have no options. It's melee or die. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. come on, man. It's done. And I couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> It was good being here. Ah, uh, James. Yeah, you're right. This is not as bad as the Uncharted 4 Wraith boss fight. Mm. I gotta say. Yep. Shoveling shit and I'm pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. <sighs> yeah. Well, you know, all the noise they made is drawing Jesse in more freaks. How many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Bruce, so there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that being emotionally available shit. You know, let's mm -hmm. let's shut that down right away. No more of that. Yeah, Boris is saying that he bought a PS5 controller repair kit. That's what I would recommend. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot mean, about that. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? You, you break damage it one more, that's already like fucked up. it's already yeah, fucked right. up. You're already going to throw it away, so you might as well try to fix yeah. it. Save yourself 70 fucking dollars, whatever yeah, they are. God damn, I know. Yeah, that <laughs> James, pissed me off. James says I'd watch Boris stream himself repairing PS5 <laughs> controllers. <laughs> I mean, that's not a terrible idea, dude. People you do get views on videos like that. You. Do a how to, you know, fix oh, controller stick. Do a how to fix stick drift on oh, PS5 oh, controller oh, video. Shit, yeah. I promise you, you'll get clicks and views on it. Maybe as soon as there. one of ours goes out, I'm going to do that. Because <laughs> yeah, I, right? I fix, I fix my shit. old iPhone. Oh, I'll yeah, take anything. Right. Yeah, you'll do that kind I of shit. I fix cell yeah. phones. Mm -hmm. Fix fucking anything. What else have I fixed? I I'm trying to remember. What have it you fixed? I still don't know. True. I fixed you. <laughs> I hope you're Getting there. there. <laughs> or, I hope there's. I went and got fixed. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> yeah, you fixed. You got yourself through. fixed. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and then Ethan Glides. We'll Ethan Glides said, "Yeah, Boris would turn it into a speed oh, run." <laughs> Amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, right, that's the reason, Mike. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike.
Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Mm -hmm. You did what now? Schizo. The music, the way the music mm -hmm. hits there. Yeah. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. No, he, he would him. not have. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. I wonder if... In one, like on one level, maybe Mike let Schizo go to prevent Deacon and Boozer from killing him. Because, you know, they, they had already discussed, we're not going to let him get oh, to yeah. trial on this. And I think Mike maybe let him go to avoid a situation where he then has to consider both Deacon and Boozer as hostile entities mm -hmm. in Lost Lake. Like, you know, you, yeah. you guys... Would you guys have completely broken the code here. You. He doesn't want to kick Deacon out second time. Yeah, it would yeah. completely you, shatter Lost Lake. Yeah, because I, I think it would be more a situation of like, I, I now basically have to put a death sentence on you guys because you murdered an inmate who was in my custody and control. Right. You know, and, and now you've murdered a man in cold blood in my camp and you guys are, you know, public enemy number one now. Yeah. And I think you wanted to avoid that. I think that's the main reason he really lets Schizo go. And also just think of the morale, think of the divide that would yeah. be in Lost Lake. Because you still got a lot of Schizo's people. Yeah, Schizo was sure, not sure. A, a lone entity. He had friends. Yeah. Um, now they may be keeping their heads down because they don't want to get kicked out as well. But right. if Deacon were to kill Schizo, then yeah, shit, you'd have the whole of Lost, excuse me, Lost Lake would fall apart. Definitely. Yeah, agreed. Headhunter raises a good point. I'm not sure if this is exactly what you mean, Headhunter. I may be uh, misinterpreting what you're saying. He says he didn't want to have, he didn't want to, buy something? to have to get How's his leadership going, challenged any further than it already okay. was. Okay. And that just made me think mm. if he put Schizo on trial, then it, who knows what the, or Stop if Deacon did kill Schizo. The repercussions from that could be so great that it could undermine Iron Mike's leadership. Yeah, in general, yeah. Um, just have people deek, deek. not hey, trust him, not, heard, you know, if they, you know, if he has to execute I mean, Schizo or if he has to say him free if Schizo doesn't get a fair trial in the other way. Them, and, just, you know, there's a jury of his it. friends and they're well, like, no, he's, he's innocent, let him go. Um, yeah, look, yeah, I might could be I'm not proud of what I had to do. on the chopping block. You know that, yeah, right. People could hey, come around more often. Um, lose faith in his we leadership. Deke, long time no see. How's life treating you, Blair? Okay. Yeah, good. Yep. All right. Now we have full access hey. to the Iron View region as well. That means we've got, what, two ambush camps, uh, a couple of Nero injectors. Um, yeah, we have two ambush camps and... Two Nero injectors, two and two, and then of course the Iron Butte hordes there. But we won't be doing that just yet. Uh, what time is it, babe? Eight. Okay, so we've only we're only one hour in. We have another hour left. Uh, I would like to try and get to going nomad myself if I can, because uh, here real soon The Witcher Three is releasing. December fourteenth is when The Witcher Three Next Gen Edition releases. That'll be Wednesday, December fourteenth. I intend to start playing it when it comes out. Uh, so we'll pretty much have to I'll pretty much have to do the same thing you did and pause my days gone play through and pick it up after I finish the next game mm -hmm. or something. Um, anyway, um, what do we want to do tonight? I have I don't really want to do anything up here. I want to push forward to going nomad, but I normally do these just for the XP. So fuck it, let's go. And now that I've reached level three with Lost Lake, all of the bounties and meat and stuff that I pick up 
will be exclusively saved for the late game camps. Boozer. I won't be trading in any man. bounties or meat or anything Shit. to any of these northern camps. Hey, what's wrong? At this point. Iron Mike. Just let him go. Let who go? Schizo. He just... Let him go. He just let him ride out of here without a goddamn care in the world. Did you hear what I just I said? I don't think it was without a care yeah, in the world. I heard you, but Jesse, all those rippers, maybe... I know maybe I've seen enough killing, you know? Like I said, being a farmer, ain't so bad. Deep. Okay, Blues Man, you're the second one to tell me that. I gotta go, Deacon out. Yeah, I gotta go. I ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> Zylock says, I liked Witcher 3 so much, I even sailed around to collect every one of those caches in the sea. Yeah, me too. Shit, wrong way. Not wrong way. I know what I'm doing, young man. Was the bear trying to eat the deer? I believe so. Come on, come on. Okay. Yeah, clip. I know, right? I needed to really look around there. No, not this way. Oh, you don't, motherfucker. Not today. Man, this dude is really all up on me. Shotgun, I think I... shotgun, shotgun. Yeah, that's not a terrible you idea. Do you have it? God damn, I'm... Okay. Like, this dude is seriously just right <laughs> on fucking top of me. No he matter what I do. You. Wants to be a friend. Now let's get some distance. Motherfucker. <laughs> the badge just flings himself down. Look. He is gonna do it. There he goes. <laughs> that bear was determined. No, but I love you. <laughs> Come here and let me love you for breakfast. <laughs> yes. Now I do go out of my way at this point. I do have the butcher ability, so I'm getting the maximum amount of meat that you can get from animal kills. Uh, so I do go out of my way to take out any edible animals. That's the deer, wolves, bears, mountain lions once they start to pop. I any... like how you refer to them as edible animals. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what it is. They're they they're okay. animals no, in the game it. that have harvestable it. pickup items. I love it. Now, I've been, for some reason, on my current playthrough, I've just been stockpiling shit and i i've maxed out my bounty ears already mm, and i'm okay. nowhere near getting to the southern region and i'm like at level three with everyone hey, we got i mean not copeland but like i don't yeah. care about copeland ricky hey um okay yeah i'll check in you know i have so much meat as well yeah so it, it'll be nice when you roll up on those late game camps it is nice to roll up on diamond lake for the first time with a shitload of money to start with mm-hmm and I wish I could carry more because I've I've yeah, taken out sure. the sawmill, and that maxed out oh, my ears. That's I had right. some taken out Iron Butte, so they're all just sitting there waiting. Yeah. And I did not today, River free. Flow Farm and Shen's camp day, and couldn't Cole, pick up the ears because oh, I'd already oh, maxed. Yeah. I've got too Damn. many in my little man purse. Hey, Damn. Sean Kohler is with us. Hey, what's up, Sean? Welcome in, man. <laughs> Headhunter says, let me love you with my teeth yeah. while being dismembered. <laughs> Could make something Old Lady this. Deep Geek says, would, it would be cool if when you forget to check your fuel level before clicking on fast travel, instead of telling you your fuel is too low, it would just go ahead and send you as far as you have fuel for. Oh, that would be That's cool. That's kind of cool. Then you could run off and find a fuel can. But you know if they did that, People would be crying about, oh, the game just left me sitting there abandoned with no fuel anywhere nearby ever anywhere. Even though there's literally Even fuel every 10 feet. Even though literally fucking fuel everywhere. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey. Hey, we have, let me see if I pronounce I this right. I know. It's, uh, uh Deus Rosely? Doubt? Just, How um, would you say that? Sorry okay. if I said that wrong. DR, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Sending love from Malaysia. Well, hello, hello, Malaysia. Yeah, welcome in.
All right. And that right there is why I do go ahead and come here and trigger those missions. I usually skip the dialogue on them. I just come and trigger them to get the free XP. Wait, you can skip the dialogue. Uh-huh. I didn't know. I just ignored them. I just ignored the <laughs> missions. Or just like, come here, do it. Go make a cup of tea. Yeah, right. <laughs> I do need some of these crafting materials here. So we're going to go ahead and fuel up the bike. Okay. Make a quick run around. I know there's a lot of crafting materials here. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on that. That should be it. Just grab what I can real quick and get out of here. I can use these. Oh, there's a can there. Can I make anything with it? I can. Where? I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> right. Oh, you say can. <laughs> How do I have absolutely zero attractor bombs? God damn it, Schizo. Fucking asshole. You know you should go to these things called hidden loot locations. <laughs> now we're going to have to. Now, I am not a compulsive looter. Um, it's just one of those things. I generally stay full up on stuff by using the hidden loot locations. But we just finished doing the mission where uh, we went to Iron Butte and uh, lost our gear to Schizo and the Rippers. Screamer. Okay, and... Yeah, we could probably knock out this camp shot pretty quickly. Even if you don't get the kill, I still recommend putting a few rounds on them as you go by, simply because it will stagger them and prevent them from screaming. Hey, we have Mark Bruinton with us. Mark. Hello, Mark. What's up, buddy? We're on a target. A gunshot somewhere. Oh, uh, did you take out the sawmill yet? And if not, what is your plan for when you're going to take it out? Uh, yeah, I do have a method for that. Uh, I take out, when I get the mission going, Nomad. The last story mission that you have before you go south uh, to the militia camp areas. Before I do that mission, I go take out the Iron Butte Horde and the Sawmill Horde. Uh, and that way you get a full 800 bounties from those. So you're guaranteed to move on to the next area with virtually full bounties. Especially if you've been collecting bounties from other shit along the way. Then yeah, you'll, you'll have your bounties full at 999 before you head south. Um, and I also take time, it's what I'm doing right now, the reason I stopped to kill this wolf. Uh, I do go out of my way, like I said earlier, to uh, kill and harvest the edible animals. Wolves, deer, uh, bear, mountain lion, when they start to pop. Whatever you can get meat off of and whatever you can get bounties off of, I do go out of my way to kill and harvest them. Um is that deer up there? Shooting? No, okay. It's a sniper with freaks on him. I love that you heard a gunshot and said, is that a deer? Well, no, I saw a movement. No, I, I know. wasn't I'm sure kidding. where the wasn't sure where the gunshots were coming from yet. Zylock has it right. He says, quote, I'm not a compulsive looter, Rex says, while burning through three tanks of gas to pick up a couple pipe bombs. <laughs> Well, I guess it's more specific. What I take the time to go loot is more specific. Where's that fucking deer carcass at? Uh, I think it was to your left. Yeah, it should be somewhere over here. There it is. Right there where the freaks are headed, of course. Well, they're going to go eat it. Oh, no. No, they're not. You got a headshot through that first guy. I did, didn't I? I? First, I thought it was a double headshot kill. I was like, oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Now, 
now's probably a good time to go through the links. You want to do that real quick? You reckon? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you you talk about it. All right. Or do you want me to talk about it? Um. Yeah, man. There's buy me a coffee. So yeah. Go for it. All right, buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. That's where you can go to support this channel, to help this channel grow. If you like watching Rex's streams, if you enjoy watching his videos, if they've helped you, um, if you find him entertaining in any way, head over to buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. That's where you can go to support the channel, help the channel grow. Uh, you can do a one-time contribution, or you can become a channel member. Memberships start at a single dollar a month. That's just 12 bucks a year. Uh, that's the best way to support the channel is to become a channel member so that uh, Rex knows that he can count on your support. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can either do a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. There are various different tiers. Like I said, it starts at a dollar. Uh, the tiers go up from there. There are various different perks and rewards for each tier. So you get something back for your money, aside from just supporting Spawn Rex. Rex. Uh, you also get things like... Uh, merchandise, wallpapers, your name on the opening and closing tags of every stream, shout outs from Rex. Do you want to do a shout out right now to your channel members? Well, hey, hello. welcome back. Here we go. All right, let me get in the camp here and get parked and where we're nice and safe. And let's give these folks the recognition they are due. So, yeah, if you hey, want your name on this list, head over to buymeacoffee.com. Flash, Spawnicus Rex, and the amazing, the wonderful, the badass motherfuckers <laughs> who support your channel are, in no particular order, whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Andrews, Zylog DNB, Captain Caffeine, Basics of Pain, Borislav 24 7, Sarah Monster, Floyd Rocker, James Guan, Jay Stabby, Catherine Jones, Honey Okashe, Obscured by Ink. <sighs> Anton G, WD Henderson, Tom Moose, Quasimoto, Dog Bone, Tom, The Juice Box, Jameson, and CJ Voorhees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. Thanks, guys. Seriously, yeah. thank you so much. I'll tell you, it's one of those things where, yes, my channel is monetized. It has been for a little while now. But, man, YouTube ain't trying to give up no money. All right? If, <laughs> if, you, don't, if you are not in the hundreds of thousands of views on every video with tens of thousands of subscribers, you're not making enough money off YouTube ad revenue to live off of. Trust me. It's nice. It's nice. Or having... even just to do it full time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. You know, it's not enough to live off of. Uh, the YouTube ad revenue is not enough to live off of, man. It's nice. But what really makes it happen for us, viewer contribution, that is where it's at. Uh, Claire just bought. Do you mind if I ask how much you paid for the Callisto protocol? It was... $70. So $70 for that new game you just started mm -hmm. streaming this morning. That right there is a beautiful fucking example of why we need viewer contribution. It's not about just paying us to do this full time. We have expenses for doing this. So it, it really does help us to keep the content coming when we are bringing money in through viewer contribution and ad yeah. revenue and things like that. It's not why we do it. It's literally what makes it possible to do it. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you for giving us the buying power that we need to make a fucking YouTube channel work. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, we have to say hello to someone whose name I can't pronounce. Uh, let me see. Your Go icon on. is HC. So I'm just going to call you HC. Hello. Welcome. Uh, and also, hi to Ken. Ken is with us. Oh, hey, what's up, HC and Ken? Hello and welcome, folks. Ken says, I respect you for playing Days Gone and monetizing it. It's not exactly Fortnite. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Because that's one of those things. It's like most of my viewership is Days Gone. Yeah. I play other games and most of my viewers that now... Okay, I was about to be a little sarcastic. Most of my viewers are there for me when I am doing other games like Assassin's Creed and, you know, stuff like that that I'm playing oh, just, I'm just for fun or whatever. Uh, but most of my viewers don't really give a shit about those other games. So it's Days Gone is where my viewership is at. 
Yeah. So thank you for, for like, just, I don't know, being aware of that. Cause that's one of those things. It's days gone is what has made this channel. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Ready to go back at it. Yeah. I had a new viewer pop in on my channel the other day and said, Oh, you should be playing, uh, <laughs> call of duty, book. modern warfare. Yeah. Cause it's trending right now. And I was like, thanks for the tip, but no, not my speed and not Really, I don't think anyone on my channel. Would yeah, none of our it. none of our viewers would give a shit if we were playing Call. Of, I mean, I guess there's a few folks who might get into it, but uh, most of our viewers would not give a shit if we were playing Call of Duty. They would be like, "Why the fuck are y'all playing that?" Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hubert is with us. Hello, Hubert. Hubert, hey, what's going on, man? Good evening. As uh, Sunlock says, Rex has a side job at the Sorry. abattoir. It's how he knows so much about edible animals. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just like killing stuff. Wait, you said that like a serial killer. <laughs> well, I mean stuff, not necessarily people, hey, just stuff. Out I'm afraid I'm quite good at killing things. You may wish to run now. <laughs> what are you looking for? You may want to run now. Is that how it goes? Yeah. I think it sounds cooler, if, unless it's grammatically incorrect or whatever. I think it sounds cooler as you may wish to run now. All right. Ken says, I got Let's to know you in the subreddit, which led me to your else? insane playthroughs of the Sawmill Horde with oh, only yeah. explosives, explosives, etc. You're insane. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. That's, a little bit. that's one of the things I was saying Dude. earlier is like uh, one of the main things that I you. love so uh, much about this game, the you virtually you infinite the possibilities for how you can do things. There's so yeah, many Wheeler different ways to handle every single encounter watch. in the game. And I fucking blind. love it. That's what I'm here for. Creative freedom for the player. You know the one? Yeah, I know it. Zylok says, of course you're good at killing things. Your car is immaculate. Still works. <laughs> serial killer clean. I have been told that my car is serial killer clean. It's not. I just... I think it was telling me more about her personality. That she was made uncomfortable by a really clean car. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny. Your bike could use some work. Come back soon. Get the lead out. All right, we got to go locate Wheeler. Joe says, I mean, I'd watch your motherfuckers playing almost anything. I like it more when you play the better games, but your personalities yeah. are why we're here, or at least why we've stayed. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Joe. Oh, and Ken well, says, is this 8-Bit yeah. Terror talking? Yeah, yeah. I'm just guessing based on the Reddit. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. This is, in fact, 8-Bit Terror. Yeah, man. A.K.A. Claire Weaver. Yeah. A.K.A. Days Gone Podcast. Yeah. Claire, this is my buddy Ken. Ken, this is my fiance Claire. Hey, Ken. Yeah, I kind of ride shotgun on the Days Gone streams because the chat gets so busy. Uh, Rex can't read everyone's messages, so I'm here <laughs> kind of monitoring the chat. Yeah. And yes. being the uh, chat assistant on the stream. Yeah. And also just giving him a hard time. <laughs> Where are these assholes at? Emphasis on the terror, says Ether Glide. I got wolves over there. I got gunfire coming in from over here. Hell, I just wanted to stop to grab some loot, and I don't need any of this shit. <laughs> that's about right, isn't it? Just try to stop to grab some loot. Don't need any of the shit that's there. Now, where was that gunfire coming in I from? I see someone, I think, crouched there. Oh, no. No, that's the yeah. body. Yeah, I have wolves moving in over here. There's a screamer over there, I think. Hey, Invincible Wolf. Uh, uh, oh, wait, they're the running wolves, off. Uh... They're running off with my wolf meat. <laughs> God damn it. That's my fucking wolf. You can't have it. I love how you can let the freaks chow down on the meat. Oh, there, there she goes. There yeah. That bitch goes on the left. Yeah. People and then we got enemies. Well. Yeah, human enemies running in behind us right there. Let's focus on them. Oh, they have yeah, ranged nice weapons. Bunch of rapists, sometimes. Thieves and murderers. What you doing out going here? Going huh? this way. All right. Looking for your next easy target. <laughs> he didn't know where you gone. <laughs> Knew where he was though. Where are you buddies at? They were shooting. Yeah. Where are your little bitch ass friends at? I think they're behind you somewhere. Nah. Well, it may be, but I believe they're part of this group that sometimes comes out of here. Oh, the ones that sometimes fuck with your bike. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, see, they're over there, there by the cave. Yeah, at the Pageant's Horde Oh, cave. shit. Headhunter. No way. Hunter, thanks, man. 
Check it out, everybody. Look at this badass leading by example. That shit, yeah, that shit right there. That is how you help this channel grow. That is how you help us keep doing what we're doing. Oh man, missing headshots and bringing you content. I do hear another one somewhere else. I think he is off to my right somewhere. They got all kinds of scattered. Yeah, they did. Go kick the rocks. Please. Did what now? Kick the rocks, why? please. Shoot them then. Do something with them. But really, please. why? For fun. Honestly, sometimes it's like you don't even enjoy video games. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I don't enjoy can, extraneous can, bullshit that doesn't oh, actually Lord. do anything in the game. Ken I, says yes, knock down the Ken. Do it for Ken. If not for me, do it for Ken. Just You're going to drown. Way. You're yeah, going to drown. Can you get it? Maybe. Oh, oh you oh, got oh, it. Check it out. Look, That's I think we right. got his chin wet, though. <laughs> Cap says I would... Oh, hello, Cap. Hey, Cap, what's up, bud? Uh, Cap says, I would think that serial killers would want messy cars so the forensic teams will have more <laughs> stuff to test. Uh, Hubert says, I've not seen uh, the saw bat like that yet. You haven't unlocked that crafting recipe, I think is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just a couple of uh, ambush camps. Uh, well, no, it is more than that. I don't remember how many ambush camps. Not very many. Ken says, crazy how this game, how great this game looks. I was playing Returnal earlier, and it's got ray tracing and incredible particle physics, but this game still looks lovely, and the enemy AI is still top tier. Fuck yeah. That's one of the things I love about the hordes. A whole uh, lot of corpses over yeah, here. What is all this? Some. Well, remember there were the, the yeah. freaks up there getting shot at. I think you had two lots of Ambushes spawn. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, we've got some ambushers here. And over there by the cave, too, so. Uh, but yeah, I was saying the hordes, the way the hordes kind of spread out to kind of flank you, if mm -hmm. you're not careful, I love that. Yes. I still, I don't even know how they program that. I don't <laughs> even know how that's possible. So good. Yeah, I've got uh, a couple of those photo mode shoots that like the animated photo mode shoots that i would do where the camera is revolving around the scene in photo mode uh, -huh. uh i've got one of those in particular that shows um the horde in like a spearhead formation Ooh. one in the lead and all the rest of him behind him uh closing They're in just on deacon starting to fan out maybe mm -hmm. at that point. yeah it's fucking killer shot uh it's just go back on my reddit profile a little ways you'll see it on there i think it's called devoured or something Ooh. yeah it's pretty fucking wicked ken says dude it's so cool to watch you guys playing this live it's a top five game for me, and no one gives a shit about this game. Kudos, yeah. my dudes. Yeah, right we on. give a shit, Ken. We Fuck give yeah. a shit. Ben Studio still gives a shit. I Fuck promise yeah. you that. Yeah. Oh, so the update, the PC update, dropped the other day. I saw that. Yeah. And people were whining about, oh, oh nobody God, cares. It's like one point two eight gig for whatever. Dot dot dot. Oh my God. But what I'm they don't like, understand dude, is... shut up already. We can say what the update was, can't we? We're allowed now. I mean, it's out, so I think so. They put Kevin McAllister's name in the credits. Yeah, man. So, so Kevin is the uh, his Viking dad on Reddit and uh, Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Uh, he famously was like a huge fan of the game when it first came out. Um, did a whole bunch of... I think he had like a blog and like interview people mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, really hyped up the game a lot and he ended up getting hired by Bend as the community manager I think which is like some social media manager mm -hmm. uh, and he now works there and they retroactively added him in to the credits on the game that he loves that changed his fucking yeah. life yeah, so, that's so fucking yeah cool. that is fucking amazing I mean uh, what, what it is is he joined the Bend studio team right in time to help with the PC launch Right. so when the when the PC version of Days Gone launched, Kevin was there. He had already started working for Ben Studio and was, you know, inter 
you know, he, had, he played a big role in getting yeah, that rolled integral. out. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can spell it, but I can't say it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, Kevin basically just awesomed his way into a job at Ben's studio just by being an awesome motherfucker, being extremely active in the Days Gone community and getting noticed by Ben's studio. Uh, and, you know, they approached him with a job offer. Uh, and he now works for Ben. Uh, his, so cool. Yeah, his passion for the game literally changed his life. Which is something that Claire and I can absolutely relate to. This sure, guys are just I sure for a Molotov. Would, like, well, that I wanted to get a triple headshot or something. Can I get the angle on them to get that headshot? I think oh. I can at least get a. Can I get a quadruple kill here? You're too high up to get that headshot, I think. But you could, you could try. Oh, you got a couple of them. But, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> and run away. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> um, Hubert says, I can't wait till Monday to see Claire's next Resident Evil 7 stream. Oh, yeah. I'm playing Biohazard on Mondays at 1 p.m. And uh, it's fun. It's scary, but it's fun. I love it. Old Lady Deep Geek says the horde mechanics in this game are amazing. And Boris says, I totally agree, but they screwed up big time with the Marauder AI. The human enemies are a bit dumb, but... And then, I mean, I guess, but I like the things that they say that kind of like yeah. flesh out, I guess, the, the shortcomings of the AI. I don't know. I don't think that stupid they're they're not particularly difficult to beat so i guess that maybe does make it stupid i don't know i like them i'm not going to critique anything about yeah. this game <laughs> fair enough cap says that was awesome triple headbanger yeah here in a sec i'll move in and we'll see exactly how many we got i think we got i know we got at least three maybe four kills Oh, Headhunter, you're at work for those ones, the uh, the streams on my channel. Oh, during the day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, Hunter, if you get a chance, man, take a look at the Callisto Protocol live stream. Oh, yeah, uh, I started that this morning. <laughs> that game is fucking awesome so far. I mean, just legit fucking awesome. And, of course, Sam Whitward is an amazing... Sam Whitward did an amazing fucking job in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was too far away. <laughs> yeah, I like that he says, got him, right as you right shoot in, him right in the yeah. fucking nose. Yeah, you got that bullet in the face yeah. is what you got, motherfucker. Um, okay, hang on a couple things. Uh, the Freakers show more intelligence than the Marauders, says Boris. Yeah, the Hordes do. And Agreed. Hubert says, so you can use photo, mo photo mode as a recon to see enemies, question mark? Do you want to yeah, yeah, I don't think we right have now? any enemies available right now. But I've been using this trick myself for a long time. I pop into photo mode, move your field of view all the way over so everything is in focus and you can see more of the screen. And you can actually use photo mode to just kind of literally look around, get a bird's eye view, look around cover, things like that. But in uh, actually, you, we were just talking about uh, Viking Dad, Kevin McAllister. He works for Ben Studio. He streams Days Gone for Ben Studio sometimes. He did a live stream recently where they were giving out tips and tricks for photo mode. Somebody in the chat, fuck, I wish I could remember who said it so I could give them credit. But someone in the chat was like, can't you click R3 to uh, tether the camera to different NPCs? And we're like, dude, that's not a thing. You can't really, oh, fuck, you can do that. And what you do is when you click the right stick, you click R3, it will actually tie the camera to any nearby NPCs. And uh, Claire pointed out an amazing fucking trick for that. What that does, when you tether it to another enemy, it lets you know, hey, there's an enemy right here. They're nearby. They're standing over here by this rock. They're standing by this tree, whatever. But what it also shows you is where they are looking to find you. Mm -hmm. So it shows you exactly where they think you are. And all, all you got to do, do is not be there. Don't fucking be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's brilliant. Yeah. 
All right, I think we might be done clearing this camp. Hey, Goma Black Magic is with us. Hey, what's up, WD? Uh, Ken says the stealth mechanics are, in my opinion, great. There's no game like it. Hiding in tall grass and doing quick neck breaks. I have no idea why people criticize this game's stealth gameplay. Who the who criticizes the stealth gameplay in this game? Send them to my house. I'd we, like a word with them. I think we got four. Oh, They're shit. all there's these three right here, and there was one that was further back sitting around the campfire, and I think that's them oh, right shit. there. I think we actually got four kills with that one. Nice. Oh wow, I opened this did, box and that did, fucking corpse just fell through the ground. I was gonna say, yeah. I looked at, away and as I yeah. looked back I saw the corpse just disappear. I was like, wait, yeah. what? Did I just I see that? Loot. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> yeah, as long as I get my loot, I'm alright. I ain't mad about it. Okay. Let's get back to the bike. And go turn in this bag. Oh, oh shit. Fucking bear trap. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, bear traps. God damn it. <laughs> bear trap tribe. Represent. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, Cap is asking, can you do that R3 photo mode trick on the PC? I, I would imagine, because you play with a... PlayStation controller on the PC. I, I mean, right? I do actually play with the PlayStation. I, I play with the PS5 controller when I'm gaming on PC. Uh, so probably I don't know what button press it would be if you're on keyboard and mouse, though. Uh, I would imagine, let's see, that's focus and yeah, so I would imagine it's whatever you use for focus and uh, survival vision mode. Mm. Just a long press of that button. Headhunter says about that corpse, they got banished to the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, to the underworld. <laughs> to Hades with you. <laughs> Boris has got to head out. Uh, oh, great, so soon. Great stream as always. Uh, all the best, folks. Later. Yeah, says, man. Bye, Boris. Glad to have you here, buddy. Uh, if I don't see you before then, we will see you Monday evening for our next collaborative live stream. Folks, put it in your calendar. Boris Love 24-7 and I are wrapping up our challenge That's mode run game. Monday evening. This coming Monday? Yes, ma'am. Seven four days from now? Yes, ma'am. 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Three days. That one, yeah. yeah. That's the, how, how many fingers did you have up just then? I can, I can count. I don't know. Three. Okay, that many then. What can I get for you? <laughs> hey. Uh, Goma says, I looked at my game hours. Yeah. And it shows 2,230. Whoop, whoop. But I had 12 playthroughs before I ever hooked okay. up to the Wi Fi on it. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you so got over 3,000. 3, yeah, at least 3,000, man. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Damn, Here I you think go. you win. Yeah, you win, dog. Find me if you need it. It wasn't a competition. Else. Until but you, you still said win. that, now you win. <laughs> yeah. Now me and Borislav are like, shit, for? challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> what do you think I'm working on? I know, right? <laughs> Hell, you play it. You play Days Gone more than I do these days. You play in it five days a week. What do you think I'm working yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I gotta catch up. Yeah, all right. I, I came to the game like a year later than you. Let me know. Um, if you need anything else. WD, how long have you been playing the game? Yeah. Because you go, you yeah. play, you Darker. like. You spend a lot of time playing it. Nice job. But are you a fairly new player? Really have you been playing since launch? Now. No, I'm guessing he's not feeling a whole lot of anything. Uh, Ken says, it's <laughs> hilarious when you get in these <laughs> combos. Sometimes you can't see the other and dude. It's sleep. sort of a bug, I'm but I love those weird things. I'm still going to find a way to talk you and yeah. into joining us here. Become a part of the family. Yeah. Never going to happen. Good luck with Boris that. says, get practicing those headshots with the sniper rifle, Rex. Later. Oh and he, shit! He put headshots in all caps. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're pretty fucking good with headshots. But I mean, you got to be even perfect. better, I suppose. Yeah. Now. Oh shit! What's up? Goma says January last year. So wait, so almost two years you've been hey, playing Days Zanny. Gone? Keeping your hands clean. Damn, son. 
Let me have a look at it. Ken says, sniper, no, drifter bow, yes. <laughs> Cap says, dang, I thought. Uh, oh, I thought WD. Well, Goma, if I can out you, Goma and WD may be the same person. All right. I've had enough. No, I just hit quick save. I know better. God damn it. You just hit load game? What are you yeah, doing? I'm just, oh. That's different games that I've been playing coming through. Oh. Uh, I am still playing three games right now. I'm playing Days Gone. I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I'm also playing The Witcher 3. Uh, not anything serious. Uh, I'm just playing The Witcher 3 to get warmed up on it, get back into it before I pick up the next gen version on December 14th. Hey, Salvi Miser is with us. Richie, get him, up? Rex. Yeah, yeah. Cap, how many hours do you have in Days Gone? Uh, Cap says, I thought I had a lot of hours. How many do you have? Yeah. Yeah, again, folks, uh, some of you will already know this. What we're talking about is on the PlayStation 5, you can go into your profile and you can view the number of hours played for every game that you've played on your PlayStation profile. Um, it will even keep track of hours played on PlayStation 5. Four. Which is funny because the PlayStation 4 does not, not tell you yeah. how many hours you have At played. Yeah. But when you when they do sure. the end yes. of the year wrap up thing, oh yeah, they'll tell you then. There's yeah. there's like a way a website that Sony yeah. puts out that you can log into and put in your uh, PSN ID yeah. whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. and it will show you. So it does track it. Yeah. It just doesn't show you. And then Which you get PS5 and it allows you to look yeah which is like sony's low-key way of telling you hey guess what we've actually been tracking your data this whole time yeah. holy shit cap you've got around 2400 hours are you serious i am son fuck that's a lot i figured your number would be up there as well shit that's more time in the game than i have <laughs> goma confirms i am wd henderson <laughs> and cap says that's like hearing bruce wayne as batman I am batman <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get scared that like people who go by different usernames on yeah. different platforms, like, like I know don't who they want are. People to know, but yeah. yeah, I mean, they're like, do you not want me to say, or like, have I, have I got it wrong? Have I said it wrong? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think Omar is WD. Like I know, but like, am I gonna open my mouth and like say it wrong and <laughs> fuck it up? These things happen. <laughs> Goma says, I am Days Gone Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hubert says, that's a lot of time to spend yeah, in a game. <laughs> Cap says, I have no life. <laughs> and yeah, Headhunter, that's not true. You're here. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not true at all. You had Days Gone. I mean, and the Days Gone community. That's so. Uh, hi, <laughs> here we yeah. are. I mean, shit, we've talked before. I, I've talked ad nauseum about how much Days Gone has changed my life yep. uh, for the better in so many yep. ways. And I mean, I've never really considered myself to be a gamer. Like, I play video games. I play video games for decades, but I never considered myself to be a hardcore gamer. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started a niche podcast about a single video <laughs> game that I was obsessed with. Uh huh. And it all just spiraled out of control from there. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Ah, WD is on my uh, phone. Go. GB is on my PC. Oh, okay. Dandy Denny says, well, now I have to go see how many hours I have. Yeah, right? Hey, Lance is with us. Lance. What's up, man? Hey, hey, hey. That's it. Oh, Headhunter, you got to get going? Well, shit. So soon? Well, thank you for being here. Hope you yeah, feel bro. better soon. Yeah, man. Get well soon, bud. Ah, uh, Cap says, let's just say that during the lockdown, uh, plus well, working from home, plus days priest, gone, yeah? equals dangerous. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't come to the game until 2021. So it was like a year plus into the <laughs> pandemic. And uh, didn't, even at the beginning, didn't have a lot of time to play. So I had my little kiddo. Uh, he was one, one and a half then. So shit, I've been playing Days Gone half his life. Because he's yeah. three now. Wild. Mm. 
So what we're doing here, I'm just kind of on my way back to Lost Lake. I'm stopping by the hidden loot locations that I know of in Belknap and right Cascade. Yes, ma'am, you are absolutely correct. Just keeping an eye out for yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes marauders will spawn down here. I think they've... It may have been up at the narrow checkpoint. Yeah. And at night, there could be some just random freaks down here, too. Yeah, I think it was up at the checkpoint. Oh, Screamer. That's what it was. Oh. But now she's not on your map. Oh, there it is. Well, the radius when you're on the yes. bike, the minimap radius is much larger. Right, right. But it would seem like she should be on your map when she's yeah. that close. Yeah, it seemed that way. Uh, Hubert says the only game I had close uh, to something like this is War Thunder with 150 yeah. days spent in battle, but it counts different for multiplayer game uh, that is around for 10 years. Damn, son. Yeah, I, I played that one a little bit. Uh, I didn't really get into it much. I don't do much multiplayer gaming, uh, but I did enjoy that one. This, like, uh, That's the one that's uh, World War II airplanes and stuff, right? Or am I mistaken? Oh shit, WD missed two months last year with Debbie's heart surgery. Oh damn. Uh, Lance says, I forgot to ask, Miss Clara and Mr. Rex, did you have a good Thanksgiving? We uh, did, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was just kind of low-key, pretty chill. I cooked, I made nice Thanksgiving dinner. What is that freak doing? All right, it's not a survivor rescue. Uh, yeah. So it was good. How was yours? How was yeah. everyone's Thanksgiving? Everyone who celebrates. So Dandy Denny, when you figure out how many hours you have in today's gone, let us know. Yeah, I'm right. curious. Shut that rock. Right. I thought you were going to nail it on the little lip of that <laughs> cliff, that little mini cliff. Yeah. And then you missed that. And then I thought you were going to nail it on the big boulder, and then you rode over that. Hubert says, Matt, that game is pre-World War II and some modern stuff as well. Hmm, okay. I can't tell if the Marauders are over there or not. Oh, I have my my great video of sneaking up on this uh, oh, little, yeah. <laughs> little uh, exploding yeah. car trap that always spawns over there. You sneak up behind them and blow up the car. It will roll down the hill and like set a bunch of them on fire. And they just like took them all out and set them on fire with their own trap. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it is great, yeah. That if anyone wants one. to see it, the video is on my channel if anyone's interested. Uh, but it's just fucking funny. It's not like a perfect method to take him out or anything. It was just for fun. Nope, I got enemies inbound. What do we have here? Yeah. Lance says, Thanksgiving was good. Always nice when you get to live another day. <laughs> I love my family and friends. And of course, this Rex man. Oh, you're Rex man. I like that. Rex man. Yeah, yeah. What are you? The Rex man. Uh -huh. What? I know, right? I barely need any of this shit. How many attractor bombs do you have next? I know you were two. Oh, just two. Okay. Should be two. Yeah. There's only two to be picked up in this region. Should be six. <laughs> yeah, there should be six, if not for Schizo's bitch ass. <laughs> uh, James is asking how much longer you're streaming tonight. It is oh, shit, it is almost nine, isn't it? I will go for a little while. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good right now. How are you? Mm -hmm. You all right? Yeah. Go all night for days gone? I can go all night for days gone. <laughs> you know me. Oh, 
Although I don't think I can survive the weekend without playing the Callisto Protocol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam Whip was calling my name in there. Hey, wait, what? What? Wait, what? What? I said I really want to play that. Uh-huh. Why'd you hear me say something else? <laughs> it's all good, baby. I know you're crushing uh, on Sam Whitwer. It's all right. A little bit. I'm not a jealous man. Are you not? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Ken says 8-bit is a trooper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Hubert says maybe if I would count all my time I spent on older Resident Evil games from oh. PS1 and PS2 era, I'd be close to 2,000 hours uh, since I remember completing those around 20 to 30 times each. Damn. Yeah. But I remember, you know, P uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2, you could do in under two and a half hours. Like, if you, you, if you were really good. Uh, I used to work with a guy who would run through Resident Evil 2 um, in, I think it was under two hours or under two and a half hours. No, I'm sorry, it's Resident Evil 1. To um, to get, like, one of the special outfit unlocks. Uh, and, uh, and and you, like, weren't allowed to save it and stuff. There's a bunch of, like, mechanics to get the best grade uh, to give you the best hey, rewards. Blair, how are things hmm. in the gun trade? So technically, All right. if you'd done them like 30 times, that could only be 60 hours. <laughs> I know for me, it's uh, the Elder Scrolls games and Fallout. Mm. Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. and Fallout then, uh, Shelter. And Fallout Shelter, yeah, we have to got to include that one. I do play the shit out of Fallout Shelter as well. And then uh, the Elder Scrolls games, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. Those games right there, I promise you, no doubt about it, 6,000 hours. If, if you were to, like, all of them together, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, uh, Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas, at least six, 7,000 hours. No fucking doubt about it. it was for a while, when Skyrim first came out, for about the first two years after Skyrim came out, my Skyrim character was basically my alter ego. That was like my, my second reality was fucking Aww. Skyrim, man. Yeah, I played a lot of, a lot, of, I've spent a lot of time in very few video games. Oh, yeah. Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, Uncharted. That's about it. I mean, I've played mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. games, but like I'll, I play games and I'll finish them. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm done. Um, Command and Conquer, I probably have quite a few hours in mm, Command yeah. and Conquer as well. Re uh, Red Alert, all of those. Um, but yeah, replayability, Resident Evil, quite a lot. Tomb Raider, a fuck ton. Old Tomb Raider, not reboot. Fuck the reboot. Reboot's dead to me. Lara Croft is dead. Um, but yeah, so Days callous. Gone. I'm, Days Gone, I'm sure, is is the game I have the most hours in. Yeah. Because I like to think I put a lot of hours into games, but I honestly have never really had much time for gaming. Sure, yeah. For me, a lot of hours into a game is like, a few hours a week. Mm -hmm. If I play like three or four or five hours a week, that's like a fuck ton. That's like, whoa, you did a lot of gaming this week. You must yeah. be obsessed. <laughs> oh, Ken is asking about the reboot being dead to me. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not a fan of retconning. I'm not a fan of... I mean, I don't mind rebooting things, but I, I didn't understand the reboot of Tomb Raider where they just stripped away everything that made it Tomb Raider. And... It's just a different game. Like, it just isn't Lara Croft. It isn't Tomb Raider. Uh, and then they went Xbox exclusive with the second one, I think. Uh, and so, yeah, fuck you. Because <laughs> it's been on PlayStation for so long. It's like, why would you go Xbox exclusive? The game was shit anyway. Didn't even like it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just being salty. Um, I will play them at some point. I played the first one of the reboots and it just, it irritated the fuck out of me how un -Lara like she was. And I know it was like a new origin story and blah, 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 but it's like, she already has an origin story. Why are we rewriting that? Why are we changing that? It was good. a good game though. Like the gameplay was good. I'm not like begrudging the gameplay. If anyone, you know, wants to be a fan of it, then cool. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and whine about it. Like, no one's allowed to enjoy it. Uh, but for me personally, uh, the original Tomb Raider was the first game that I really loved. So when you change that and, and strip away everything that made that so special, I am 
personally going to take it a little hard. I'm going to be a little salty about it. <laughs> Hubert says Resident Evil Code Veronica is pretty long. Um, my first playthrough, I finished it in one day from afternoon to something like 5 a.m. Holy oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, we can. It, he says it's basically a copy of Uncharted. It's weird because Uncharted borrowed so much from Tomb Raider, and then Tomb Raider borrowed straight back from Uncharted. And it's like, oh my gosh, you. Like, why are you copying Uncharted? You were the original. Yeah, I fucking love Uncharted. But Uncharted did a similar thing with retconning Sam. Uh, sorry, Nate's backstory to include Sam. Which was kind of weird. Is Reboot Lara worse than Angelina Jolie Lara? Yes. <laughs> a lot worse. At least Angelina Jolie was trying to embody the spirit of, of the real Lara Croft. Hubert says, I remember playing Tomb Raider Chronicles and I was so mad at that game I threw the disc out the window. Oh, shit. Wow. That's the one with, like, baby Lara, right? Where she's, like, 16, but dresses like an eight-year-old in hot pants. That one was a little odd. It was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> with the, um, the little... There was an island, and it had the creepy... That's when it started going Supernatural with, like, the weird little creepy uh, pixie things that you scared off with iron, because, uh, you know, fairies and pixies don't, like... Iron also it was a bit it was a bit bonkers. The games did get a little weird. They really did get kind of strange. So I understand why they wanted to reboot it and bring it back more grounded. Oh, Cap says we need to do another watch party. That would be a oh, good yeah. idea. Actually, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, Uncharted 4 is a work of art, says Ken. It is a fucking beautiful game. I, the Scotland levels are just breathtaking. The gameplay is awesome. Some of the sequences are awesome. I personally didn't like that they fired Amy Hennig, the writer. She did such a great job on the first three, and they kind of um, they kind of fucked up the 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 theme, and they got a little upside down, and the just the dynamics of the relationship seemed a little weird and the, the structure seemed a little weird. It just seemed a little off to me. But I'm, I'm very kind of attached to story games and like the stories and the characters. Uh, so when you start messing with that shit, I, I get picky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ken, I hate they fired Amy. Yeah. What? fuck happened with that like i still don't even know why they did that why that happened apart from just creative differences oh she wasn't fired but she quit um no one will say Oh, uh, Tomb Raider watch party. Wait, new Tomb Raider? Or Angelina Jolie Tomb? Because there was another Tomb Raider with um, some attractive model-like woman whose name I don't recall. What was it? Alicia something? I forget her name. Yeah, it was Neil Druckmann taking over the franchise. She was basically pushed out. Yeah, you can you can make things uncomfortable enough for someone to quit very easily. And then be like, oh, we didn't fire her. Yeah, she just quit. Yeah. It was her decision. Yeah, it's not us. Vikander. That was it. BOP, I think that was a, a typo. Was it Alicia Vikander? Was that her name? Yeah, Alicia. I don't know anything about her. I mean, she looks gorgeous. I assume she's a model or something. She has a very striking face. But I don't know her from anything. I don't know <laughs> any movie she's been in. I don't even know if she's really an actress or if she, like I said, she was like a model or something like that. Um, 
<laughs> James says, Swedish chick. Her forehead didn't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Zylock says, uh, she was basically pushed out. It smelled an awful lot like she was a strong woman that needed to be replaced by a different strong woman that agreed with everything Neil said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fuck, she was an ex machina. Oh, shit. Alicia Vikander. Did you ever see Ex Machina, the movie? <laughs> oh, we're watching that. You'd like that. It's fucking cool. Yeah, no, for me, it's pretty much everything that I see these days. It's like, oh, here's this actor or this actress. And it's like, I've literally never heard of that person. I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, yeah, they were great. And what the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is either. He is such a crotchety old man. I love it. It's like, what were we doing? Oh, we went to a movie the other day, and there was some air quotes celebrity doing some commercial. I literally have no concept of what the product was that they were trying to sell. But you were supposed to buy it because that person's no, awesome. Yeah, and I have no <laughs> idea who that person is either. It's like, I've never heard of this person, and I have no concept of what this product is that they're trying to sell. I don't even know what it is this company does. Like... Your commercial didn't even tell me what I'm supposed to be wanting to buy. It did, but you just don't speak celebrity. Ah. Uh, <laughs> or new trends. Yes. Uh, Zylock says, Ex Machina is a mindfuck. You'll love it, Rex. Mm, okay. It's a good movie. Cool. It's a smart movie. All right. Very smart. It's about AI and ethics and human existence, like what makes us exist existential things you know that kind of shit it's been a while it's been a while since I've seen it and Cap says lol Rex join us in the old man club <laughs> uh huh uh huh shit I've been there forever man <laughs> he started it been there yeah I've been there since my 20s dude <laughs> he goes Tuesdays and Saturdays <laughs> yeah you got a patch in everything a little fight club quote anyone got that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, whoop, uh, Lance whoop. says, Angelina Jolie is badass, though. I love watching Tomb Raider. I even played the game and really enjoy playing as well. And... <laughs> Selby Miser, Richie says, one time at movie theater, there was a rando, random Liam Neeson quiz show, and I somehow won. <laughs> 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 Zylok says, ask your doctor about this drug, but we won't tell you what it's for. Every <laughs> pharma commercial. Yeah, right. Some of them are so vague. And, and so weird, like, the way they um, portray the problem that you're supposed to fix. Mm -hmm. Like, there's one where people keep walking around corners, and I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> what corners got to do with anything? And like, it's it's cool, like special effects where they walk around a corner and the background changes. They're in a different scene. But I'm like, wow, is this person like just having a complete disassociative like <laughs> episode where they're just in like random places, or is it like narcolepsy or something? They just wake <laughs> up in strange places. But like, no, it was for like, I don't know, like, depression or or something. I guess like turning a corner metaphorically. I don't know. Oh, it made no oh, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make sense, actually, now that you mention it. And then there's it. one for, like, erectile Thanks dysfunction that had, like, a, an old couple taking a bath on the beach. <laughs> they were, like, hold, they were each in their own bathtub, but, like, close <laughs> enough to hold hands. <laughs> I mean, when you're doing an ad for boner pills, like, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I guess you have hard. to be fairly delicate yeah. with it. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of hard <laughs> to, you know, portray that tactfully. Where the fuck were those mushrooms at, man? I'm out here trying to get some mushrooms. <laughs> so they're legal here now. I know, right? I keep hearing about that. Okay, so there's some shit back this way. Let's go back this way. Old Lady Deep Geek says, same here, Rex. I have no idea who anyone is anymore. Well, except George Clooney. I know who yeah. he is. <laughs> um, oh, as Zylok says, yeah, Ex Machina is about the Turing, a Turing test gone horribly, horribly oh, wrong. yeah, yeah. Ken says, I love the snow on the ground here. The story, uh, story beats when Deke does a big move is really moving. Um, <laughs> and Danny Denny, the farmer, adds, they will terrify you with the side effects. Like, they won't tell you what, 
what the pill is, but mm-hmm. the side effects are just horrifying. There are only, I, I think it's America or America, maybe one other country that is allowed to advertise pharmaceuticals to you. Every other country is it's not allowed. You can't, and it's also pointless. Like, I, I would never go to my doctor and say, "Hey, I heard about this on TV. Can I try this pill?" Like, I. <laughs> Unless a, it's something you really want. Um, no, I mean it's <laughs> it's horrifying. Like to, yeah. to put that. In, like, I'm not a doctor. Oh yeah, I don't know anything about on that. The yeah. yeah. And like some doctors, I feel like you would go to them and say, "Hey, I feel like I should be on this." They'll be like, "Okay," and write your prescription. I'm yeah, like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Pretty much how it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like you're the fuck. You you spent years at medical school. You tell me what should I be on? Like I'll tell you what's up with me, and then you tell me what pills I should be on or not or whatever. It's just it's crazy, and they're so long and, and obnoxious as well. These ads, I hate them. And the sad side effects list do like oh, yeah. squick Fucking me out. Oh yeah, terrifying. Yeah, because I just I hate like medical stuff anyway. So when they're like, may cause hair loss, blood clots, mm-hmm. uh, indigestion, uh, heartburn, cancer, death, I suicidal like... tendencies, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, right. stop. You mean like the metal band suicidal tendencies? <laughs> no, no, unfortunately oh, not. Actual suicidal yeah. tendencies. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Yeah, I, uh, it gets me when the the list the side effects are like, oh, th- use this medication for nausea and vomiting. Uh, side effects may include nausea, nausea and vomiting. vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn it. James says, very out of context, Uh-oh. Liam Neeson apparently likes to piss his pants in public. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, it's fucking Liam Neeson. You can't really get mad at him, though. Zylok says about the side effects. Um, <laughs> if you don't ask, don't blame us for your anal bleeding. Yeah. Oh god, that reminds me of that that thing. Who who was in the chat? Who the, someone someone with us was um, in the chat one time? Was it in the emergency room or or urgent care? And someone came in that had obviously oh, torn yeah, something inside yeah, themselves and they were bleeding out. Oh, ass. fuck. I remember hearing about that. God, who was it that shared that story I with don't us? Remember, but I'm just I'm oh. horrified by that still. Because yeah. I didn't get it for a minute. Yeah. And right. then I realized what was happening. And hey, someone's here. <laughs> that's where I start to feel sick. That, okay. Uh, conversation it's over. Deacon. No. Um, Deacon. Okay, let's go back to Liam Neeson. The side effects are sometimes worse than the actual conditions as mm-hmm. cat. Yeah. Uh, Ken says you two are cool. <laughs> <laughs> How's my favorite bounty hunter? James Where says, try this pill. It? Side effects include death. Talk to your doctor before taking yeah. it. Literally <laughs> everyone who takes this medication oh, dies. I mean, I get why they have to be cautious. Like, they have to be cautious. Sure. Like, if they oh, do yeah. a trial and like somebody died or mm-hmm. somebody committed suicide or somebody had anal See bleeding, around. then they have to include that because they don't know for sure if their pill caused it or it does cause it if you have certain other things going on with your body Deacon. that they can't determine. Right. How's life treating you? Anything that can do shit like that, I'm just like, no. Mm-mm. All right. Hey, come around more often. All right, what else do we have going on? We do have a camp job, and we do have full access to the Iron Butte region now. Hey, wait a minute. Why can't I? I I bet. You know, I bet you I didn't even activate this motherfucker on that last stream. I was so distracted by all the noise in that last stream. I bet you I never went in there and got the fucking injector. I've been by this motherfucker twice now, and I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Son of a bitch. All right, I know what we're doing next. God damn it. Let's go clear this fucking neuro Oh, my word. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I just... Hang on. I just did a... um, Say John, I got I'm putting this on the Discord. I just did a Google search. Uh, I'm going to share a screenshot on the Discord. Completely out of context. There it is. <laughs> Liam Neeson's unapologetic pants Dear kissing crossing. of Fred. Well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? So apparently he does piss his pants. What? 
the I, fuck? I don't. I'm still reading. I don't. <laughs> I still don't have answers. But apparently, it is a thing. I, I, I. Oh my god! Oh my god! He actually. I guess he saw that part in Billy Madison and just got a little confused. Okay, you gotta pause the game and see this. I mean, you know all the cool kids pee their pants, right? Yeah. Like he just, there's just pictures of him with like a wet patch on his pants. And fans just, oh, it's Liam Neeson. I love that picture with Liam Neeson. Oh, wait, that dude's got piss on him. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, I, 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 you would kind of think that's one way to keep, you know, uh, overzealous fans and paparazzi off of you. You're like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Smell my piss, motherfucker. One way to mark your territory. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me catch up with the chat. Oh, yeah, Ken is asking, there's a Discord? Yes, there is. Yeah, man. Uh, is, whoop, whoop. is Joe Schmo still with us? Can Joe drop a link if he's still with us? I can get the link in there pretty easily. If I need you, to. You can get it in pretty easily? I can slide it in there pretty so easily. You, there. you don't need the bathtub pills? <laughs> 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 the little blue pill? Yeah. Wait. Wait, how do you know what color it is? The, com the commercials, obviously. <laughs> Screamer. Didn't see you. Oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. Hey, where did those... Okay, now that's... Oh. Where, where the fuck did they even come from? I don't know. I was looking at the Screamer. They literally spawned just like, hey, we're in and we're shooting at you. God damn. All right. The fuck ever. Okay, could you do the link, please? Oh, yeah. Ken, yeah. Ken would like the link. Yeah, I got you, bud. I'll take care of it. I don't have it saved, unfortunately. Okay. It should be in your oh, no, description. I've, I've got it. Oh, yeah. okay. Right, well, we yeah, gotta... actually, if you check the description of this video, you should find a link to our Discord. He's going to do it anyway. However, I will go ahead and post a link in the chat. This will only take a moment. And then you'll have an active working link right there in the chat. Uh, but yeah, the Discord is a <laughs> cool place to come hang out. There you go. James is yelling, I told you, in all caps at me. <laughs> Liam Neeson thing. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I, I'm actually, really? I love the, hmm, what? Whatever I you started need. us back all the I way here. Oh, well, maybe you should have done a couple of saves. Or okay. Something. I guess. I maybe you should. Oh, hey, hey um, it's Friday night. You should probably jump online and check out that Spornicus Rex dude. He does expert gameplay. Tips, yeah. He might be able to give you some tips so you don't end up starting back at Lost Lake. I heard he walks die. around wearing pants with pee on them. <laughs> Because he wants to be cool like Liam <laughs> I heard he sits in a bathtub on the beach. He does what now? Sits on in a bathtub on the beach. <laughs> hey, Alex is with us. Alex, what's up, man? Hello and welcome. Zylok says, I only know that Viagra is a little blue pill because of the 30,000 emails I've received about it over the years. Uh -huh. <laughs> old lady says, is there some place where old people can learn to find their way around on Discord? I joined months ago, but haven't been going there. It's hard to find my way around. Mm, it agreed. is a little weird to get used to. Um, but basically, think about it like the old days of the internet when you had chat rooms. So you have the, the Days Gone, uh, we still call it the Days Gone Podcast Community Discord, but I, we need to come up with a better name for it because it's kind of grown beyond that. Um, but yeah, think of that as like the the house that everything's in and then all of the, what they call channels, which are the little hashtag things on the left-hand side. Those are the individual rooms within that house. And each of those will have their own little chat thread going. Um, and they're all, you know, themed uh, by their name. So it has like general, which is just whatever chat. There's a place to share screenshots, to share um, pictures. There's memes, talk about music, um, podcast updates, 
live stream updates, things like that. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Cap says, Discord, another way for me to waste time. <laughs> Alex just woke up. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Morning, sunshine. Good Wait, night. Cap, you accidentally joined a different Days Gone podcast on Discord. Got it. Is that the one that has oh, the... Jesus. Um... There's a guy who who has scooped up the whatever podcast name. So he, he has like the Indiana Jones podcast, the Tomb Raider podcast, the Days Gone podcast, the Disney podcast. The He's done millions of them. He has like Instagram for all of them. It's all the same guy. And he'll do like one episode. The, day, the other Days Gone podcast is one episode. He just did a podcast about Days Gone, like a podcast episode. And then that was it. And then he's just sitting on the Instagram handle and the Gmail and all of that. Bear Trap Tribe Discord. That's what we call it. Good one, Dan. Yeah. Jenny. Zylock says, in particular, if you don't have the time to keep up with the chat in Discord, don't try. I mostly hang out there to meme and learn more about cocaine bear. <laughs> uh, Cap says, think about Discord as the old DOS or Windows hierarchy. There's the top folder, then different subfolders, channels, are created with different topics. Yeah. Uh, Alex says, good old Merc, M-I-R-C? Do we remember that? I don't know what that is. M-I-R-C? Do you know what that is, Rex? Mm -hmm. I never used chat rooms and stuff like that back in the day, though. So it's it's funny when you are like, oh, yeah, Discord is just like the old school chat rooms. I'm like, yeah, I don't know anything about those either. <laughs> Sporticus Rex ignoring the internet since 1992 oh. or whatever fucking year it started. I don't know. <laughs> Nice. I feel like that was more of a head graze. I, I'm pretty sure if he I if he had him. any hair, yeah, you would have I scalped him. You would have given him a haircut. Oh, IRC Internet Relay Chat. Okay, I vaguely know what that is. I can use this. Uh, Cap says yes. Yeah, I'm Cyber Squatter. For some reason, I accidentally joined that channel and did not recognize any names. Mm. Cyber Squatter. Okay. Yeah, someone who just like scoops up like a, a email address or a website address or something with no intent to actually use it, just to mm. keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've put in a lot of work to to my podcast, making sure that it like um, rises above that one in terms of like the search results and things like mm -hmm. that. I did actually have an issue earlier this year where someone um, reached out to me and said, hey, I want to do a podcast about oh, Days yeah, Gone. I remember that. Uh, do you mind? And I was like, no, not at of all. Of course like, not. Yeah, I don't, I don't it, own dude. copyright on doing a Days Gone podcast. Like, If you want to do that, by all means. And then they called it the Days Gone podcast and like tried to basically copy what I'd done. Um, like the format and the, the name and everything. And I, I had to reach out to them. I was, I was kind of upset about it and I didn't want to be like mean or anything but I was like dude I, I don't think you realize how much work I've put in making this channel what it is uh, sorry this, this podcast what it is um I, I don't own that but kind of would you mind not using the exact same name mm -hmm. as mine come on man for real oh I see so I had opened I had opened the place up, but I had not come in and uh, got the injector uh, yet. Yes, which is what you have to do. To open the to, place up. Yeah, <laughs> to, to finish it. Man, Can you I use the gun locker? Did you use the gun locker? I believe I did, actually. I didn't realize you could use and those. I, I think it's actually being a bit weird. I noticed uh, the icon was in the wrong place. Another narrow injector. There we go. Good. Is that what you were talking about? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just this whole camp has been a bit weird since I got here. Uh, James says, I've not been able to keep up with the Discord chats, but I pop up now and then. I'm the same. Yeah. And I think that's the thing with Discord is don't feel like you have to be a completist and read everything. Mm -hmm. Pop in and read the last few messages and then be like, okay, I can join in this conversation. Cap says, I use Slack at work and Discord is kind of similar. Discord was used mainly by gamers a generation younger than me. <laughs> hey. uh, Ken says, I'm not sure, but I think you have a British accent. Yay! Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's go ahead and top off ammo as well. Uh, I, I mean, I used to have a British accent. The British people I know say I don't sound British anymore. Um, but I, I still think I sound British and I know Americans are like, oh my God, you have such a cool accent. Oh my God. Are you from England? Do you know the queen? And all of that. How do you say I love you in British? Oh my God. I did actually get asked that question one time. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't being funny. But, guys. That yes. actually happened. Yeah. I actually got asked, how do you say I love you in British? I'm like, uh, well, we speak English. <laughs> so it's, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they genuinely thought they were going to learn something they could say to their boyfriend or something like that like something cute it's like no no it's just English sorry <laughs> WD says what is this podcast you speak of <laughs> uh, Cap says Claire this is a whole new reality nowadays where you have to protect your brand mm -hmm. yeah and James says she's faking it. She's actually American. I do I do play pranks on people sometimes and tell them that um, I'm actually a theater student from Florida and I have a part <laughs> coming up where I have to play a Brit. So I'm trying to be authentic uh, and like really learn the British accent. And, uh, you know, I, th I think I've pretty much got it down. I, I really think that I, I've nailed it. And I'll have people tell me like, oh, no, no, you, you're you not saying this bit right. You're not saying that right. And I'll have people give me tips for like how to be a say uh, uh it sound more british and i'm like no dude i'm i'm fucking with you sorry uh, i'm fucking with you right that's too much fun uh xylox says claire may be from the uk but she knows very little about it she doesn't even eat marmite <laughs> i don't i hate marmite but i know what it is yeah. i know a lot about it. i lived there for three quarters of my year uh, three quarters of my life uh so yeah well less than that now now yeah yeah most, right. most of my life. Anyway. Uh, folks, I think I'm about done for the night. I got this uh, Nero uh, checkpoint unlocked. So next week we can um, come in and clear the Iron Butte area. Like I said earlier, we have two ambush camps here and two Nero injectors here available. So we'll get those knocked out and then we'll be ready to push forward with the story in Lost Lake and uh, see if we can't get, um, like to get the Riding Nomad mission. Uh, so we'll be set up to head south. Uh, but anyway, that is it for me for tonight, man. I've had a fucking blast. I love that I'm able to play this game twice a week now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still not up there with Claire playing it five days a week, but, you know, it is what it is. We have to make time where we can. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway, man. Uh, all right. So what's going on? Today's Friday. Uh, Correct. Now, we don't have anything tonight or tomorrow night. I mean to say Saturday night. Correct. We don't have anything Saturday night. Uh, we'll have her kiddo tomorrow evening, um, so we're not going to be doing a feedback loop. Uh, so the very next time you will see us will be S Claire's channel Sunday. Uh, you still 9 doing? p.m. Sunday, 9 p.m., The Devil in Me. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we'll then be back Monday, around from there. Monday morning, Callisto mm -hmm. Protocol. Callisto Protocol on Claire's channel Monday and then, morning. I, actually, I have four streams in a row before your next stream. Good Lord, you do, don't you? You have, have Sunday, Sunday night, night, two on Monday, and then Tuesday morning. Yep. Callisto Good Protocol Lord, Monday morning, Resident Evil 7 Monday afternoon, and then Callisto Protocol again Tuesday morning, yeah. and then back around to you. So you're next on this channel, your channel, on Tuesday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday for uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, and I know that it sounds complicated when we just, like, it sounds like... It's a lot of info. Yeah, it sounds like, how the fuck am I supposed to keep up with that? I don't know how to keep up with it, but the description... Uh, oh, no, 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 you're streaming Monday night. Zylox just reminded us, you're streaming Monday night. Oh, fuck, Zylox, thanks, brother. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is, we do need to go ahead and announce this officially on our socials and stuff. Borslav247 and I will be uh, finishing up our 
uh, challenge mode collaboration. We have one last challenge to do to get gold standard in all of the challenges. Uh, he's been coaching me through them all and uh, helping me get gold in each one. So we have one more of those left. And that is, in fact, Monday. This coming up Monday, uh, 7 to 9 p.m. on my channel. So that'll be the next time I'm streaming will be Monday evening uh, with Borstov 24-7. And... And you were going to say that the, um, sorry, I'm just getting rid of a bot. Oh, thank you, babe. Uh, the schedules uh, in right. your description. Yeah, if you check the description for pretty much all of our live streams, you will find, like if you're looking right now at the description for this video, if you're looking at the current videos, you will see the current uh, live stream schedule. Uh, for my channel, if you're looking at one of her videos, you'll see the current schedule for her channel. Uh, we keep all that stuff right there where it's easily accessible for our view for our viewers. Indeed. Anyway, uh, thanks again for the support, folks. Thank you so much to my channel members. You guys, you are literally, literally what makes this possible. And I want to make sure that you all fucking know it. Thank you for real. Indeed. Got anything else? No. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go Thank drink some for, whiskey. Yeah. Thanks for being here, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for letting me run the chat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Love you guys. Good night, everyone. Good night.